Okay, so we're back for another episode of Pikmin. I'm actually recording this literally right after the other one, because I'm probably just going to do them all in one day. Um, but yeah, um, I was thinking about it. Maybe one day I'll do like a stream and I'll finish the game with no deaths, because that's that's really annoying. I I don't want to have to reset, because I just wanted to do this in free, like, um, free recordings. <laughs> Oh, that's that's really infuriating. It's just it's just that one lapse of judgment for that one second, and then I've had a death. That's so irritating. Oh. Okay. So in this, if you go back to the impact side on any day other than day one, um, there'll be a lot of pellet parties and such, um, and an and one enemy or two enemies technically, which give you a lot of Pikmin and a lot of good stuff, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, basically, I'll just get those guys going on Nectar. So yeah, what I usually do is I usually don't focus on the yellows or the blues um, on the days that I get them. Um, I just focus on actually getting them, um, sprouting the required amount, and then when we go to this day, seeing as there's only one other part, that's when I focus on um, sprouting a bunch of them. So yeah, it's really good to get up um, the count of your Pikmin on these days. We won't need to spend the entire day here. I'll get all of the pellets and everything, but it really doesn't, it should take like three quarters of the day, I think. So yeah, just get that one there. Tackle these pellet poses, doesn't really matter who they go to or which ones get, but it, ma it matters who they go to, but yeah. You really don't need that many yellows in this game. They're kind of the most useless um, tight. Um, but, uh, if, it, if any yellow pellets get dropped, then I will give it to the yellows, just for the sake of it. Just to get that one pigment bonus. Ah, so that's the, that is the enemy I was talking about. That is an iridescent flint beetle. Um, basically, iridescent flint beetles will run around frantically, you, you can attack them by throwing your pigment at it, um, and it will drop a lot of goodies if you can aim. Ideally, it will get stuck on a wall, and then you'll just be able to instantly throw at it. It will get more frantic the more Pikmin are chasing it. But yeah, it drops quite a lot of nectar, it can drop some pellets. Um, I think in this game, each of them can drop up to seven things. Like, uh, like whether that be um, nectar or, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I kind of failed with that one, but it's fine. So we'll just get all these little pellets, and then we'll quickly go get those tens. And then we'll move on to another bit of this area which we actually weren't able to access last time. Yeah, I don't know what it was about this game. It was magical for me as a kid. I have vivid memories of just all of this, and it was just... I, I can't even describe it. It was just magical. This game, I love it so much. It's so good. I actually, funny story, um, it's kind of disgusting. I, I, I don't know if this is like, <laughs> um, uh, like a common experience among Pikmin, like young Pikmin fans, but when I was little, I <laughs> actually ate a flower in hopes that I would wake up the next day as a Pikmin. <laughs> like I literally went to my backyard <laughs> and like ate just a random flower. <laughs> And I, I remember the taste of it. It tasted toxic. It, it honestly probably was toxic. Um, I remember it was a little purple flower, because I don't know what they are, but in Australia we get these, like, tiny purple flowers everywhere. I remember at prime excuse me, I remember at primary school, they, we used to get them on our oval all the time, but they also grew- Oh my god, excuse me. They also grew in the backyard of, um, my old house when I was little. So yeah, um, that's a fun story, just for whoever wanted to know that I ate a flower, I guess. <laughs> It was disgusting. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna get 10 on this. Sorry if like my commentary voice is boring as well. I know like it kind of comes with time. Like a lot of people who do commentary gameplay or videos or just, yeah, just videos in general have like really, you know, strong, interesting voices, but you know. Go listen to their original videos, they weren't anything to write home. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll get these for now. 
So different different um colored like you can kind of mix the Pikmin that carry things back. Um I believe if it's a big thing like a 10 palette or a 20 palette, it will go to whatever color has the majority. But if it's like a one palette, then it will go to whatever was carrying it first, which is pretty useful to know. Alright, so we'll get my Pikmin. What I'm actually gonna do is um, in this area with the map, you can actually see all of your amounts of Pikmin. So, um, the first three numbers are how many are in your party, the second three numbers are how many are in the onion, and the third one is, as you can see, how many are by themselves. So, what I'm gonna wanna do is get f actually, no. What I'm gonna do first is there should be an iridescent flint beetle here. So, it's good to have flowers when I'm doing this just so the nectar doesn't get wasted as it just did which is great yeah so you'll definitely want to when you're fighting these things call back your Pikmin often just so it doesn't get more frantic because the more frantic it is the harder it is to hit so yeah as you can see it actually hit how did how did you get up there what the hell <laughs> yeah it actually dropped a um oh. That was the right color. It actually dropped a five red pellet, which is pretty useful. Um, so yeah, that's an iridescent flint beetle out the way. And there should be one or two more. There should be like one here, no? Okay, there's just one left then, it's over here. Where are you gonna run to? Okay, if you kind of just like aim ahead and spam, it's usually good. But this one's kind of the easiest one to get because it kind of gets trapped in this little area and sometimes can get trapped on the corner, which is really handy. Stop wasting the nectar! Oh my god, hit the thing! Okay, there we go. Hang on, hang on, what's going on? Honestly, getting all these pellets uh, is kind of unnecessary, uh, but yeah, but I, I just get it for the sake of it, because there's not much else really to do today. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to want to hopefully not waste any more nectar. There are actually bomb rocks under there now. Um, and what we're going to want to do, I did not mean to pull those ones back gonna want to do is throw everything up here or if you're really good with the kind of little command thing you can kind of lead everything up there um but i kind of struggle with it sometimes so i find it easier just to throw most of it because what we're gonna want to do is break down this wall to access this area which we weren't able to go to on the first day so that's all this free and these clamps over here they are actually enemies um, they are called Pearly Clam Clams, which is probably one of the most incredible names for anything ever, <laughs> any enemy in a video game ever. Um, Nintendo, just 10 out of 10 name, love it so much. Um, I'm kind of half being sarcastic and I half am being 100% serious, my cat just skip the shit. Hey, get off my desk! Oi! Oh, it's off! It's back you! No. You're not allowed on my desk and you know it. I love you, but you're a pain. You know that? You're a good girl. I'm I'm very weird about stuff. I don't like um getting I don't I always have to wash my hands before I touch my desk or my computer or my phone or anything after touching my cat, because she's not dirty, but I don't know what it is. Um so I'm just gonna quickly go wash my hands because I just had to lift her off of my desk because she's stubborn and she jumps on my desk and I don't like it, so I'll be back. Okay, I am back now. Yeah, I don't- I honestly don't know what it is. I'm kind of just- I've kind of just always been not a clean freak and not a germaphobe, but like low-key a clean freak and a germaphobe. Um, yeah, I honestly- I honestly don't know what it is. Um, I- I, I can't explain it other than that. I- it's especially when I get new devices and such, like I just got a new phone and I have to wash my hands every single time and I, I got my new Switch like <laughs> like nearly a year ago now and I still do that um or whenever the Splatoon OLED came out I think it's in like it'll be a year in like two months or something um but yeah 
So that's a 20 pallet as well. We haven't really seen, oh, we've seen one of those, but I didn't actually um, point it out. Um, so yeah, where are we missing it? Okay, it's a red. What I'm gonna wanna do is go and get a bunch of blues. Yeah, so yellow, as I said, is the kind of like the most useless type. Um, we really won't need many. Um, so yeah, it's really important to get as many blues and reds as you can. Um, reds especially for the forest navel and then blues for the, um, for the, uh, place after that, um, that we'll be going to. Right, so I actually want to hurry up because the time is getting quite close to the end of the day. Um, the ship part, the other ship part actually is in one of the pearly clam clams, which is why we need blues, because they're actually on the other side of the water. Uh, but we also need reds for some- are you serious? For something else, which I'll show in a sec. So yeah, that little blue pearl that the, um, the pearly clam clam dropped, um, is actually, um, something which gives a lot of Pikmin. I believe it gives 50. Um, so uh, there's two of them. I recommend giving one to the blues and one to the reds. The reds for the stuff that you'll need them to do in the forest navel and the blues for the area after that. So yeah, pearly clams hands basically will bring their top half back and then eat anything. Oh, I don't know how that Pikmin did not get eaten. Um, and then eat anything that's in it after a bit. No, that one's dead. No? Okay. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're not attacking. Out, 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 out. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. Yep. We'll get to that ship part in a minute because we just really need to be speedy. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll give that to the blues. I'll get this part out. And then I'll get them to get this this back because again, the more blues, the better. Come on, guys, we really don't have much left in the day. And then, yep, yeah, as I said, I'll be giving that to the reds, and then also that red palette. And then I think we've literally collected every single thing that's possible to collect in this area, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, I didn't take Pikmin out in time, and now I have to pluck everything. That's fine. Throw that. Yep, seeing as we'll never be coming back here again, we'll definitely have to pluck all these. Any Pikmin left in the ground will be there the next time you come back, but we really don't need to come back here, so... Are you serious? That one blue wasted it? That's something that sucks about this game, the nectar. If one Pikmin takes it, none of the other Pikmin can get onto it. It's just a complete waste, and it sucks. Okay. So yeah, what is this thing called again? I don't remember. I think it's Shock something. Shock Absorber? Is that it? I believe so. No, the Positon Generator. Okay, no, yeah, no, the Shock Absorber was the thing from the, from the Forest of Fire. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on. Okay, so now that we've got everything, what I'm going to want to do is try and salvage as much of that nectar as I can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, from the iridescent flint beetles. Because the more flower pikmin we have, the better. So I'll try and- we have more than enough reds. I'm never going to need that many. Um, but oh well, doesn't matter. Oh, wow, most of them are actually flowers. That's awesome. Okay, all but one, whatever. So now when we take Pikmin out of the onion, all but one of them, or red Pikmin rather, all of one of all then all but one of them will be flowers. So yeah. Wait for them to get back. Then we'll do the same for the blues, because the area, as I said earlier, the area after that will need a load of blues. So it's just better that they're all flowers or as many as we can get. Just for convenience. 
Dun 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 Bum, bum, bum. The soundtrack in this game is phenomenal as well, and I think it's especially uh, good how immersive it is, like the music changing at night time, for example, or the little extra beats um, happening when you're in combat. It's just, that's part of what makes it so magical. It's it's really, it's really great game design. Even just the, the like, the areas, they're so immersive, especially with like all of these details, all these like, you know, little plants and everything, it's, it's stunning. Yeah, and as, if you couldn't tell, um, yeah, obviously Olimar and the Pikmin are tiny, because this is, like, a regular-sized flower. So, yeah, they're tiny in comparison. Honestly, I don't know why I'm waiting for this countdown, I could have just skipped to sunset, because if you press plus, you can actually skip to sunset, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this game, that's part of what's so just so magical about it. This, this, they did a killer job with the atmosphere, the music, everything. And it's really devastating when you lose Pikmin and everything. Like, they really did a killer job, especially for like a 2001 game on the GameCube. Like, the graphics for this game, like, they, they didn't even, I don't even think they enhanced any of the tech, or like any of the main textures. They enhanced some of the, like, the little icons and stuff in this port, but I don't actually think they did anything else, which like is really impressive. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I love this game. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have blues, uh, we'll be able to get the last of all... Correction, we would have been able to without blues, but um, I'm not that savvy. So, now that I have blues, I'll be able to get the rest of them. And I just, I, I know we got everything... Ah, right, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, wait, why can't I pull out... Yeah, so because those, because we left four here in the ground last time, um, uh, yeah, they're still there, so I can't pull out any more Pikmin, but that's okay, we'll go get that later. Um, so yeah, now what we're going to want to do is break down, oh, 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 okay, now what I'm going to want to do is kill these. Ow. God, they actually do quite a lot of damage. I, I guess I forgot how much damage they do, because in Pikmin 2, the enemies definitely don't do as much as much damage. Um, so what I'm actually going to want to do here is actually kill the white ones this time, the female sheer grubs this time, because um, they actually do have an ability that they can do um, uh, close to the bridge. Um, all of them can do it, but just and now I actually have to kill the female sheer grubs because they'll do that. Uh, what they can actually do is destroy bridges, um, which is really annoying. <laughs> so what we're going to want to do is kill those, because we don't want them destroying all my Pikmin are working on it. So yeah, there actually is a little exploit that you can do by getting the red stud or yellow to that little island. You can actually make them, throw them into the water, which will cause them to start drowning, and then call them over, and they'll kind of swim over while drowning. Uh, it's kind of gruesome, <laughs> but yeah. I'm not about that, so I'm not going to do that. And yeah, as time goes on, more and more enemies spawn in different places. That's why there's a ball orb there that wasn't there originally. Um, but also, uh, enemies need time to kind of respawn. Um, which is why the enemies that were there last time also aren't there. Um, or some of them, at least. So yeah, we'll continue, get more... Hello, can you get the, the bomb rocks, please? I will break down this. Oh, okay. Well, someone completed something. And actually, what I'm going to want to do is kill this as well. So yeah, as I said earlier, you can use bomb rocks to kill enemies. Which is really handy. And I'll just kind of chip this guy away as well, for the sake of it. So yeah, we'll have to come back here later fine. I won't go through there. So I believe it will be the little bridge that was completed. Yeah. All right, so we'll go collect our blues in a sec. I'll just get some more bomb rocks. Any left? No. Nope. Cool. Oh, perfect. That other bridge is one phase away from being completed, I believe. So what I think I should be able to do... 
no. Okay. Well, I was trying to save time, but that didn't work. <laughs> I should have just gone over the bridge. Okay, I accidentally threw an extra one, but it's no biggie. Alright, so now we're going to start working on getting some other pieces. So yeah, we won't actually, uh... I was going to say, we won't actually need to kill that other ball of bubble, but we'll be able... Can I just talk like a normal human being for like two seconds? We will need to kill this one. Because there's going to be a part coming through here. So yeah. Blue Pikmin, blue and yellow Pikmin don't have as high attack as um, red Pikmin do, but in swarms they'll be completely fine. So we'll put those onto that, and then just while those guys do that, I'll just quickly kill these dwarf bulb orbs to make my life easier. It's a lot easier to kill them with ones that don't have bombs, because I don't want them throwing and wasting bombs. <laughs> So yeah, that's one of the four parts. Oh, that's increased capability. So we've actually unlocked the fourth area in the game, which we'll be going to um, in the next video, because um, after this day, we'll be going back to the forest naval and just finishing the forest naval off. Yeah, I'm really, I'm still really upset that that one yellow died. <laughs> I should have just waited, I don't know what I was thinking to be honest, but if I can successfully complete the rest of the game without deaths, then at least that'll prove that I can do it. Even though I already also have proof, but whatever. Because <laughs> I have it on my save file. So yeah, it's really easy to kill bulb orbs just by throwing one bomb to each of their sides. Uh, we won't actually need any more bomb rocks, but whatever, <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm sure they'll come in handy somewhere. Alright, so in this day we'll actually be fighting two bosses as well. So just to save time, you can f um, so yeah, the black, um, or like darker, uh, walls, why is my brain, my brain is not braining today, um, will take a lot longer than the white ones. Do you want to get blown up? I don't think so. It will take a lot longer to break, so it's just easier to use bomb rocks. Just easier to use bomb rocks, I said. Okay, so this is the first boss of the day that we're going to be getting into. This is the armored cannon beetle. So what you'll want to do is um, throw a Pikmin into the little hole when it's firing a uh, boulder. And then you'll want to attack its back. When I was little, I always thought that um, that you needed fire, like red Pikmin to do that. You actually don't. Um, and this is the radiation canopy. It's a little, um, kind of windshield that goes over Olimar's cockpit. Um, so yeah, uh, you don't actually need to beat that boss, but it's just easier, um, and less dangerous. Uh, but yeah, you can actually distract him while the other Pikmin kind of slip past. Sorry, I, I thought a Pikmin was unaccounted for, but uh, we used, we had ten bomb rocks and then used four of them on the... A wall, so the six bomb rocks. I thought there was only five for a sec. This is the Nova Blaster, which is another one of the um, parts that you don't actually need to complete the game or get the good ending. Rather, um, it can actually blast through stars. That he he says, or he says it in the manual. It says it, it claims that it can blast through stars, um, which is interesting. Um, I'm just trying to. <laughs> some of the things I like remember, like some of the descriptions I remember vividly, but. Um, others I don't. Um, so I kind of just try to talk about some trivia, I guess, when when I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, geez, doing commentary is really difficult, especially in a strategy game, because this, this game is classified as a real-time strategy game, I believe. Um, yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> Oh yeah, as I was going to say earlier when my cat was annoying me, um, oh, she's, she's actually sleeping on my Udi, that's actually really cute. I'm going to take a video and put it in the first, <laughs> put it on screen so you guys can see. Um, 
Yeah, she's a really sweet cat. Um, she's just... She knows that she's not supposed to go on my desk. I just don't like... I don't know. I'm just... I'm just a weirdo. I don't... I honestly don't know. Um, but she does it anyway. And it's kind of infuriating. <laughs> um, but yeah. She's... She's really a lovely cat. Um, and I actually... Speaking of my new phone as well. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, I got 25 blues out. Oh, you'll see why soon. Um, I actually designed my own um, phone case. I drew it because I am I, I am a so-called artist as well. So I do I do a lot of drawings, digital art, such stuff like that. And um, I my phone is an S23 Ultra, a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And I was planning on getting the blue one. So I drew my cat being suspended by balloons. So uh, I, and I was going to get it printed on a clear case so it looked. Okay, two yellows. <laughs> Again, stupid mistake. It's it's not like I can't complete the game with with like deathless. I I just keep making stupid mistakes. Um. All right, what we're gonna want to do is let's quickly kill this. So yeah, I was gonna get the sky blue variant, which would have made it look like uh, she was floating in midair. Um, but they were out, so I have a. Okay, cool. We're gonna have to run because my Pikmin decided that, nope, Bomb Rock was not going to be acceptable. Throw it, do it, do it, do it, do it, run. Run, run, buddy. Just throw the Bomb Rock, dude. Whoa, that didn't kill it, okay. No, oh, that blue's dead. Get up, get up, get up. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Cool, I could have just thrown Pikmin on it, but I am kind of lazy. Pikmin trip a lot in this game, um, which is really irritating. They definitely don't do that as much in the later in the um, other games. I mean, I can't really speak much for Pikmin Four yet, but um, in Pikmin Two and Three, they Pikmin Two. It's possible. I don't actually think it's possible in Pikmin Three. I'm don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen it happen. Um, but yeah, also it is possible to get this cardboard box out the way without blues, but it's just a lot easier with blues. Um, you, it's intended that you have blues, so um, yeah. Alright, so what we're actually going to do is leave the blues over here. And the yellows, can you go away please? Don't have time. Um, okay, whatever. I'll throw a bunch over here. Throw that blue. Throw that blue. We gotta be very quick in beating this last boss so we can get the last part back. There are actually three of them, but only one of them has a part. These are giant bird serpents called the Burrowing Snaggerets. Um, it's actually quite easy. Get up! It's actually quite easy to beat them if you get them in the right cycle, which is uh, that cycle that you just saw over there. The head gets stuck in the ground um, like this. Their weak point is their head, so if you can get them to lock onto their head, they'll do a lot of damage. Um, other than that, um, you should probably run. Oh, okay. Two cycled it. Done. So yeah, the reason I brought blues is because if you have any other color but blue, they will actually take it back this way, um, which is really annoying. So they'll go past the burrowing snaggerets, possibly die, and it will just take a lot longer. Um, but if you have blue Pikmin, they'll actually take it through the water over here. Uh, this ship part, which is the Geiger counter, which I actually, it's actually, it's a funny description, uh, which I should have read. Um, it says, the noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous place and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. And he basically states that he's, he's never read the manual and doesn't know what it means. I didn't know until the other day that a Geiger counter was like a radiation, like a radiation meter. I think that's what I like. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I, I, oh, that's my interpretation of it anyway of what it is. Um, so yeah, he's basically saying that he ignores that there's lots of radiation <laughs> when it gives when it gives off those loud clicks and stuff, which is actually kind of funny. Yeah, a lot of all of them is, um, kind of descriptions are really funny and stuff. Uh, you can kind of pause and read them if you want, or maybe in post I'll extend them just so it's easier. But I kind of just skip over them because I've read them all a hundred times and I don't bother. I guess I should do that in when I'm playing a game and uploading it so other people can see it, but whatever. So yeah, that's actually it for the Forest Probe. Yeah, as I was saying before, 
I get sidetracked really easily. Blue Pikmin, um, take it through the water, whereas Red Pikmin will kind of, oh, wrong way. Red Pikmin will go all the way around here, even, buddy, even though they could literally just walk off here, so I don't know what it is. The Pikmin AI kind of sucks, I guess, or their pathfinding isn't as refined. Um, Pikmin are definitely a lot less, a lot more stupid in this game than they are in later games. They're very intelligent and free, but they're, um, I, I'd say that they're the best in two. Um, I think two as a game is the most solid out of all of them in terms of controls and such. Um, but one is still my favorite. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the Pikmin are kind of the smartest in three, uh, the most fun and dynamic in two, and then just kind of awful in one, to be honest. <laughs> um, another thing which they did actually fix, or like add to this game is, um, in the original two, or in the GameCube and the Wii port, they were very slow when you throw them, but they're very fast in this one, like they are in Pikmin 3. Um, or they, you will, yeah, just, or Pikmin 2 and 3. Um, this is the fourth area, the Distant Spring, that's where we're gonna need another blues, but we'll go into that next time. We'll just go back to the Forest Naval, we'll work on this for now. I need to chill out. <laughs> I'm running out of breath, it's really bad. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do... Okay, I'm gonna get, so we gotta be very like, um, what's the word? I gotta be very efficient in this day. Uh, 15, that's 85, so 42 and 43. So, in this day, we're gonna be getting three regular ship parts, two of them which will take, um, kind of problems, like a lot of problem solving and such, uh, and one of them, which is from a boss. So yeah, we'll be fighting another boss in this area. Um, a completely new boss as well. Uh, so first what we'll want to do is actually just take our blues, leave the rest there. Um, just ignore all these. Yeah, the puffy blue hogs, well, sorry, puffy, pu not puffy, shut up. Fiery blue hogs rather, um, uh, are actually not that deadly. If you just have reds around them, you don't, you literally don't even need to kill them um, in this area. <laughs> Which is really funny. Um, actually, this is the only area that they spawn in, I believe. I'm trying to think. Yeah, other than challenge mode, this is the only area that they're in. Um, but yeah. They're, they're really not deadly at all. Um, these are honestly the second worst thing in the game. Um, the, the worst thing being actually another variant of the Wally, uh, the Wally Hops, I should say. Because that's their new official name. Um, uh, but yeah, um, those are kind of the worst things in the game, but they are manageable. You don't actually need to kill these things, um, you can kind of just lure them away while the Pikmin get the part, but I just find it easier to kill them. Um, this is the antidioxin filter, it's basically just a filter which reduces pollution. Um, an interesting fact, this is a Ramune bottle, I believe it's pronounced Ramune, um, or something like that. I don't speak Japanese, I don't know how to pronounce Japanese things, but it's basically a bottle with marble in it, and the bottle sits up there, you kind of push it out, and then it like kind of instantly carbonates it. Um, when you do that. It's pretty cool. I have quite a lot of them. I kind of collected all of the empty bottles. It's a very delicious drink. We have a, in Australia, we have a, um, a store called Daiso Japan, um, where you can buy, uh, a lot of Japanese, like, homeware and products and such, but they also do have, like, a range, can you not? They also do have, like, a range of, um, of, like, foods and such. Uh, so yeah, we're actually able to get that over here, which is really nice. Can you get up? Oh my god. Alright, we'll need 20 of those, so we'll go ahead and put these guys away. And then, yeah, we'll need the most reds in this day, but, um, yeah. Come on. Yeah, see, it's very, very good that we got all of our Pikmin flowered, um, in the impact site, because it just makes this day a hell of a lot easier. Alright, so now what we'll want to do is actually, while they were carrying back 
Oh, no. Wait, they haven't carried that back. What am I doing? Okay. So. They will now carry this back, which I believe only 60 will fit, so the rest of them can kind of just chill out. Alright, that one can stay over there then. While they're doing that, we want to get yellows and get a bunch of um, bomb rocks because we'll need to destroy a few walls and I think I'll need eight. But I'll get, a f I'll get, uh, no, I'll just get eight. No, oh, whatever, I'll just do all of them. No, actually, how many do I have? Five. Yeah, because it will be very annoying if I have more. Okay. So while they're doing that, I'll go over and finish off this wall that I lost my first yellow to. That seems like some of the blues tagged along for the ride with that, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Yep, so this wall will take four more to destroy. Oh, why did they do that? That's so infuriating. No. Oh, come on! What a waste of time. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is take these yellows in here, and this is the boss arena. All right, we'll leave those over here. This is the BD long legs. Um, now, there is a pretty easy way to do this with blue, uh, sorry, reds, which is obviously a lot more efficient because um, uh, they have a higher attack. Um, but I just find it easier to do it this way. Um, so yeah, basically you want to avoid its legs, anything under its feet will get crushed and die instantly, and you'll want to attack this big ball. Or its abdomen, I guess. And every time it shakes, it kind of shakes it off and wastes, so you'll kind of just want to call your Pikmin off so it doesn't waste time. Yep, there we go. We lost another yellow. Cool. I can play this game deathless, I swear to god. I literally did it yesterday. Cool. So that's that done. All of these sheer grubs and such shouldn't be here. That's right, I never killed them. Hmm, that's really annoying. Is that red? Are those reds fighting? Okay. Go off, guys. Pop off. Okay. So now I'll want to... First of all, kill those stupid cheer grubs and such. Oh, seeing as I'm not going for Deathless anymore, I'll just use my Pikmin or whatever. So I want about 20 reds, but I'll just take them all just because it's easier. Ow. Okay. Okay. Guys, come on. Please. I don't... We really don't have time. Someone's playing Utopia. Good for them. Why am I missing- Oh, right, the red's over there. Blue, get up, please, for the love of God. So the reason we have these extra bombs is just to break down this wall. And yes, there is a puffy uh, fiery- sorry. We really don't need to deal with this guy, but whatever, doesn't matter. 
How many yellows do I have? Oh god, I need to go and get another yellow. Oh, guys, come on! Oh, I just realized that, I, that a yellow died in the Beanie Long Legs fight. Oh, that's so irritating. Oh, this is falling to pieces. Okay, okay. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Now I'm actually getting really stressed. Sorry if I do go silent, I am just trying to first, if anything, and strategize. Um, Alright, this is the analog computer. Get this out. That flower over there is called a candy pop bud. Uh, basically, if you throw any Pikmin into it, the, the corresponding color, uh, any any Pikmin that are thrown into it will turn into the corresponding color. Um, so now what we want to do is get these blues off. Get those Pikmin on it. Cool. No, guys, come on, dude. Okay, we'll take some of these blues back, just because the more reds, the faster the parts will get back, which is good. But we'll need to go get one more yellow, because BD Longlegs killed it, which is really irritating. If any of these guys trip, I swear to god. Of course, I had to jinx it. Yep, yeah, get off. Honestly, you deserve it. I don't even care anymore. I love Pikmin, I hate them. <laughs> you know, I was gonna take these blues back and get more um, reds out, but honestly, it's I don't really have the time. I've gotta hurry up. Okay, that, that analog computer should have no problem getting back. So I won't worry about that, but it's mainly the last part, which I'm kind of worried about. Oh, but the bridge is almost done. That's brilliant. The only thing I am really worried about now is the fact that there is a glitch that happens sometimes. Which involves the part literally jumping, like, falling out of the map and being in, like, completely unable for you to get it. Um, so I hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, we'll actually need yellows to get this part up here, which is quite similar to another part which we got in the Forest of Hope, please. That was so close! <laughs> Jesus! Okay. You guys get on that. This is the Libra, quite similar to the Sagittarius, which he... Uh, I skimmed over, like, I skipped over, but he actually says that it was a gift from his son, and this one is a Libra, a gift from his daughter. Um, they're both, um, named after the, the corresponding, um, star sign for each of his children. And I think we've done it. I'm, I, I know I can do this game deathless, so it's really annoying to me that I made those three tiny mistakes. <laughs> and that now three yellows, I do, which I really don't care for. Um, they're kind of like, actually reds are my least favorite. I really like yellow Pikmin. Um, well, out of the original main three, uh, I think that is really cute, but they're kind of useless in terms of gameplay, so it doesn't really matter too much. Not that a lot of them dying would even matter anyway, seeing as we have so many of them. <laughs> okay, I have no um, no doubt that we will be able to do anything. That, um, uh, that, like, that nothing bad will happen to them because they're just going through fiery blowhogs and such. Just put these guys away for the sake of it. I don't know why. There's no real point. But we finally did it. And then I guess I'll go back and just chill with these guys. Actually, what I will do. 
I think I think most of the blues are flowers and such, but I'll just, seeing as we will need a lot of them in um, the next area, I will just go ahead and get some of this grass, because there actually is quite a lot of nectar in this area. Come on, guys. Okay, I'll just put these guys away. Um, excuse me. I just popped that on his face, and when I went into the onion menu, it, it paused him mid-fall. That was really funny. Okay, so there are a few buds. Just to be safe. I'm cool. Alright, well, I'll just go ahead and go to sunset. We don't really need to wait for the last few seconds. And that's it for the first naval, and for the second episode. Day six, and I'm completely on track. Good stretch. So that's just him saying that there's 11 days, whatever. Oh, 11 more parts, 19 days. So still we've only lost three, and one, like, one of them, oh. It's annoying, but whatever. So next time we'll be going through the Distant Spring and finishing off this game. Yeah, it's quite actually a short game, um, especially uh, if you have like a pretty good strategy to like kind of do it really quickly, <laughs> like like I do. It, it can be done a lot quicker, but you know this is the best I can do, the best I've ever done. And actually, you know what? Oh, uh, actually, never mind. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. So thank you again for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.